वेलकम टू ऑल इंडिया श्री शिवाजी मेमोरियल सोसाइटीज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी आई एम विकास कटक दाउंड असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी हियर वील डिस्कस वेरी कॉमन मैथमेटिकल प्रॉब्लम दैट इज गोइंग टू बी सॉल्व बाई यूजिंग कंप्यूटर दिस इज कॉल्ड फाइंडिंग द जी सी डी ऑफ टू नंबर्स एम एंड एन कॉल्ड एज अ ग्रेटेस्ट कॉमन डिवाइजर जी सी डी ऑफ टू नंबर्स एफ एंड एन सो हैव टू फाइंड द लार्जेस्ट के वैल्यू such that the k divides both numbers m and n so here is some examples gcd of 8 and 12 is 4 and gcd of 18 and 25 is 1 so there is at least one common divisor for every m and n and this is the one so next we will see what are the different computational steps we have to follow when we are computing the gcd of any two numbers m and n so in this first step we have to follow that is we have to list the factors of n then we have to list the factors of n and after calculating the factors of m and n that is both numbers we have to find the largest number that present on both lists and this particular largest number is the our gcd of m and n so we are going to check the validation of that particular algorithm here we have to find factors of m and this factors of m in it is in a range of 1 and m and when you call any number as a factor of n when it is perfectly divides any number then here is the example gcd of 14 and 63 we want to calculate so here first we have to construct the list of common factors that is factors of 14 and as well as factors of 63 and after that calculating the factors we have to check what are the common factors so in this case 1 and 7 are qualifies these are the common factors and among these common factors 7 is the largest one so 7 is called as a gcd of 14 and 63 now here is the algorithm for finding the gcd of m and n so we know what are the computational steps we have to follow now we are going to write an algorithm an algorithm is a step wise representation of your problem so in first step we have to use some list this particular list i'll call it is as a fn and a fn so fm is the list of factors of m and fn is a list of factors of n so i'll declare two lists for two factors list okay and then we have to calculate these factors and we have to store these values in our list so this is going to be calculated by using this particular for loop so here for loop where is our i value from 1 to m because we have to calculate the factors and we know the range of factors is in between 1 to particular m value so here i values varies from 1 to m and we have to add that particular i value in our factors list if that particular i perfectly divides our m so once you can calculate the factors of m you can go for calculation for finding the factors of n so by using this step you can find the factors of another number called as a fn so after following these two steps we will have the factors of first number and factors of second number then we have to find the common factors list so this particular common factors list is represented by using the cf and in cf we will have the all the common factors and how that particular common factors we are going to be check by using this for loop so for every factor in fm we are going to check whether this particular factor is also fn in or not if it is available in both then we will add that particular factors in common factor list and after calculating the common factor list we will have those some elements in our list and we have to find the largest element among them and this particular largest element, uh, element is called as a gcd of m and n now here is the problem uh, solution of for finding the gcd of m and n so here is the program solution of for our problem finding the gcd of m and n so here i have used one function the name of function is gcd uh, of m and n the m and n are the two inputs or two numbers we are providing to that particular function for calculating the gcd so def is the keyword which is used for defining our function so in that first we have to use one list we know that fm is a list for collecting all the factors of m now first we have to collect the factors of n means we are going to use this particular for loop 
So with the help of this particular for loop, we can vary that particular i value from 1 to m. So this range function is very useful for varying the value for i from 1 to m. And for every value of i, we have to check whether this particular value of i is perfectly divides m or not. If it is perfectly divides m, then we will call it is a factor of m. And once it is a factor of m, then we will add that particular i value to the factors list. So by using append function, we can add that particular factor value in a factors list. So here after executing these all steps, we will have the factors of m. Similarly, after this, we will calculate the factors of n. For that, I will use this another list fn, which holds the, all the factors of second number. By using again for loop, we will calculate the factors of n and we will add the every factors in a fn. Now, after executing these two for loops, we will have the factors of m and factors of n. Then we have to calculate the common factor list. So, we know that the common factor list. For that, we have to check whether these factors are available in both list or not. So this is going to be checked with this particular for loop. First, we are going to check with for f in every fm whether this particular f is also in fn or not. If it is available in both, then we can add that particular element in our common factor list. So after executing this three statements, we'll have the common factor list, and among these common factor list we have to find the largest number and we know that the largest number is added at the last in a list so we have to just return the index of that particular element so this is called as a common factor minus one minus one is the, in, is the index for the last element now here we have to note some point uh, after this discussion that is we have to use some name to remember intermediate values or to store some intermediate values so these names are the m is the for uh, first number n is for second number fm fn cf are for this and ijf are the some temporary names we have used so these particular names hold some values and these values either do the uh, values are either single values or it is a collection of values so list is the called as a collection of values and these m n f i j hold single value at a time now here we have to assign values to names and we can assign these values to the names explicitly or implicitly explicitly means you can assign that value to particular name or during the calculation we can assign the values to the name it is called as a implicitly ex, uh, assignment okay so here after that we have we can update that particular name by using the append function so here when we have to add any item in our list we are using this particular append function append function add element in your list now here we know that program is a sequence of steps and our algorithm is also systematic stepwise representation of our problem and by using programming language we can write a program then some steps are repeated so by using looping statement you can repeat some steps of your program so here is the problem we have discussed that is finding the gcd of two numbers and also we have discussed what is the programmatic solution of finding the gcd of two numbers thank you